This is what unpopular looks like. President Lukashenko may be determined to hold on to power, but he knows the people aren't with him. He had a bird's eye view from his helicopter, but it doesn't seem like he cares. There they are, fleeing like rats, he said, in video distributed by his presidential press service. These huge numbers speak for themselves, though. The calls for Lukashenko to leave reverberating around the capital and across the country. I think that everyone here on the square is afraid, and there is a reason to be scared, because our government has already shown how it can treat its people. But there is faith, more faith than fear. So that's why we came here today. We are here with all the girls to show that we are against violence, lies and unlawfulness. Authorities should not be like this. Some brought photos of the awful bruisings inflicted on some of those who'd been detained and reenacted the scenes of torture the nation has had to reckon with. No counter demo today, despite an uptick in rallies in support of the regime this past week with the green and red Belarusian flag, symbol of Lukashenko's 26-year rule, increasingly on show. But Minsk today is dominated by the red and white of the protest movements. It is also crawling with security forces and police, with the army standing by. President Lukashenko has said that the people have this weekend to consider, but that as of Monday, in his words, power must be power. In other words, a proclamation that the government will exert its authority using whatever means it chooses. The march for a new Belarus, as it was called, headed towards the presidential palace, but turned round. Those careful to keep the peace not prepared to engage with those with a reputation for violence. The show of strength from the riot police echoed by their president in video he clearly wants his people to see. Stepping out of his helicopter as the demonstrators dispersed, dressed in full riot gear and carrying an assault rifle. Thanking his security forces for the job that they do to rapturous applause. The last dictator in Europe, proving why the title has stuck. Dynamic Day Sky News, Minsk.